All right, uh, so today I actually want to go over a few different apps that are used to kind of enhance or change your Hyperland experience. Some are just helpful tools to configure your Hyperland, and others are just additional tools to help it feel more like a full uh, functioning desktop. So yeah, so I just want to go over a few of those. Uh, hopefully these are helpful and something that you guys might want to use. And let me know if there's anything else that you would want me to go over, you know, down in the comments, or I can go over any of these uh, topics, you know, in a full video in more detail. But yeah, let's just uh, jump right in. So the first one actually being the doc that I have down here in the bottom of my screen here. Some of you have asked about this in previous videos, uh, but basically this one is actually called the NWG uh, doc hyperland. You can get this uh, just by downloading it through the AUR either using your know, per or yay and so basically what it does is provides a doc experience um, at the bottom of your screen here and, and it works uh, very similar to other desktops um, like in GNOME and KDE with the different type of docs that they have at the bottom of the screen and you can you, it's pretty highly uh, configurable as well um, so there's, there's a bunch of different you know types of configurations that you can do um, so you can have it, you know, running all the time permanently. Um, you can actually have it run where it only appears when you um, put your mouse, you know, at the bottom of the screen. So it does hide when a full uh, a window is, you know, taking up the space. I like to have it, you know, always there. And I do have this automatically appear, you know, within my um, Hyperland launch here. Um, so you can see here that I have the doc appearing automatically right here and I do have some different uh variables at the at the end there or flags rather that at the end that are running um to have exactly the the style and everything that I want on there which is actually pretty easy to um, configure it gives you all of the different ones right here that you could do and there's a bunch of different types um of different things as far as alignment the width you know, from the, the start to the center, you can have this actual doc, you know, start over here. You can actually change the position to, you know, the side of your screen, either left or right, um, or at the bottom. We can change the, the margins, the icon size. So you just have to add these flags at the end of each, uh, at the end of the actual command. You can also bind this to a uh, command within Hyperlin if you want to under key bindings, which I do have as well, which is um, WinZ. So, so just in case it doesn't run, or um, sometimes after uh, a computer goes to sleep and I wake it up, it won't be there, so I can just do a quick command, Win-Z, uh, and it brings it back up. So yeah, that's just a nice little tool to have at the bottom of your screen. And so as you can see, I have it shows like how many dots or how many different um, instances of that app is open, and it shows if it's open as well. You can also dock items down here, so if I right-click it, you can pin them or unpin them. Um, you can open a new window from here, and it also can change which workspace it's on as well which is nice. And you could define how many workspaces you have, you know, within here, um, but I actually can move like my OBS um, to a different workspace very easily just from, from the dock there or go full screen and toggle floating as well, or just close the window um, altogether. Obviously, I'm not going to do that or, or this recording would just stop, but um, pretty cool um, feature and it makes it feel more like a, I guess a traditional desktop while still having all of your uh, window manager, you know, features. So I kind of like having the the best of both worlds there with the with the dock at the bottom. Um, it's not for everybody, but it's definitely something that is useful um, if you want it. And then you can also update all the styles um, that you see over here in the uh, configuration file for this. Uh, so it's through um, a CSS file, and you can just update um, the colors of everything, the border style, what the active button and button color looks like, and pretty much um, all the different things there and it does have some some documentation on how you know the styling and, and everything works within their their github um here which is pretty straightforward and easy to set up so yeah so that's the uh the hyperland um nwg doc uh and then the next one that i would want to go over is the hyperland configuration this is especially good for people who are new um to hyperland and want to be able to configure their hyperland setup without having to do too much you know in in the terminal so there's a lot of different, you know, pre-configured settings that you can go through in here. And I would suggest doing this on a brand new install of Hyperland um, without any like pre-configured um, dot files or anything like that. Um, this is if you want to go straight, you know, Hyperland because it can't affect different 
other people's dot files that have already been configured. Um, this is more for a straight Hyperland experience uh, without something you know pre-configured. So if you have something pre-configured, I would not suggest doing this. I would suggest editing on your own through the terminal. But uh, if you don't and you have just regular Hyperland, you've installed it, you know, through uh, just like Arch install or like another desktop environment, um, I would you know, suggest using this. Um, if it's something that you want to make easier for you, you could actually change like the gaps in and out on different workspaces. Um, you could change your border size, the colors for decoration. You could change the rounding, the, the shadows. Like there's so many different you know features and stuff in here that makes it a little bit easier to configure things. Not that it's hard to do it through the terminal. It's just you know some people like a uh, user interface to actually interact with, to be able to do reconfiguring there. You can enable an animations, uh, different inputs for, for keyboard and mouse settings, um, gestures. So if you're on a laptop, you can enable the gestures uh, for swiping and, and different things like that. And then under miscellaneous, uh, this is just a bunch of different settings that you can kind of enable and disable on here. Um, and then you also have Fine. So, like, so configuring your key keyboard behavior when you uh, do certain actions, you know, within your within your keyboard, and then you have different layouts and uh, how it, it how it uh, works with um, X Wayland option if you want it to you know scale or not scale. It also has the the Nvidia anti flicker option that you can turn turn on there, rendering um, your cursor, um, so you can update uh, your cursor as well on here, and then there's like a debug section as well. So yeah, this is definitely you know really helpful for those who are just getting into Hyperland and want to do a fresh install of Hyperland, but don't really know exactly you know what is going on, which is kind of nice because it actually updates your configuration file. So you could make a change in here and then go look at your configuration file and um, see the the difference. So it's also kind of a learning tool as well. Um, so yeah, so that's another one that is a pretty good app to use, especially for newcomers on a Hyperland you know configuration, and then. Uh, last but not least, Hyperlock and Hyper Riddle. Um, these kind of go hand in hand with each other. But basically, this is like the sleep option, sleep lock screen option that you can have um, on a Hyperlin uh, desktop. Um, so this makes it so when you're enables your computer to go to sleep for one, and then once your computer goes to sleep, when you wake it up, you're presented with like an actual lock screen, which basically looks like this guy over here. You can see this, you can change your actual background, you can change the time, you can add some different things um, on here as well, but you will have to configure that within the, the different configuration files for Hyperlock. Uh, and what basically what Hyper Riddle does is actually puts your computer to sleep um, and tells how long it takes uh, to do so. so. You'll have to have this running by default within your uh, Hyperation or Hyperlint uh, configuration uh, file to have this start on startup. When you do start your computer, so this way um, it knows when to go to sleep and when to lock. Um, if you are using an NVIDIA card, I do suggest commenting out the entire or deleting the entire um, suspend uh, section because just suspend does not work very well on Hyperland or Wayland, that is, right now with NVIDIA. So I have that turned off, but it does go to sleep just fine. Um, it just doesn't actually suspend your computer, which is not a huge deal, but if you do want it to, to suspend, um, I would suggest only doing that on an AMD card. Then you can actually go into your Hyperlock configuration here, and this is where you can change like uh, what background you want on there for uh, when it is asleep um, for the actual lock screen. You can change the thickness of the input field, uh, what it says in the input field, so there's uh, which monitor you want it to, to land on, all the different labels, the time, and the actual little image um, that shows up for like your um, uh, your avatar or whatever you want. To show up for in the middle of the screen there you can update that very easily you know in here as well uh so yeah so i definitely would give this give this a try if you'd already have this enabled it's very easy to to enable as well you basically just have to install hyperlock um, and hyper riddle you can get both of those to the aor i think some of them are in, in the regular package for arch as well and so when you do install it you you will just get a default you know configuration and you can you can edit it from there and then same with uh, Hyper Riddle, you do have to create that and use their default uh, configuration for that as well. But then you can change, you know, change everything to your liking uh, from there. Yeah, so those are a few different Hyperland apps um, that you can use to kind of enhance your experience and, and change the way your Hyperland configuration, you know, functions. If there are any other ones or uh, 
comments that you have on these, definitely you know, leave a comment below, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.